Value-based payment uh, programs are uh, mostly designed to shift the burden of the financial costs of care away from the payer and onto the providers. In many cases, they're being laid on, uh, layered onto existing fee-for-service or prospective payments, such as, as DRG payments. But in addition to receiving their normal DRG payments or, or uh, physician fee schedule payments, then uh, the payers are measuring the overall costs of care uh, for often for a defined population of patients or across a defined episode of care and then rewarding the providers if they reduce costs of care by letting them keep a share of the uh, of the gains or the, the reduced costs as long as they don't measurably sacrifice the outcomes or patient satisfaction with care. I think there are huge opportunities for innovators who are looking at the overall healthcare system and can design uh, solutions that improve costs, quality, and outcomes. Uh, what a lot of these new uh, policy incentives are designed to do is to uh, eliminate misalignments uh, economically that existed in the fee-for-service payment systems by bundling payments together between the hospitals and the doctors uh, or uh, across an episode of care so that if you can achieve efficiencies um, in downstream costs by, by accelerating the patient recovery time, reducing the need for repeat readmissions or downstream, downstream procedures, uh, then uh, the innovator is rewarded for that. And uh, I think that the, uh, the op opportunities are still largely untapped to uh, achieve the, the gains of that. <laughs>